saw myself uh, working in this field, uh, honestly, because I, I was not much aware about the clinical uh, industry. I have coming from a computer application background, and uh, and programming is one of the key uh, uh, curriculum in my uh, in my educational background. So uh, my interest have uh, evolved mostly into uh, software development applications uh, because I was uh, developing applications for uh, public sectors uh, back during my uh, bachelor degree uh, as a part time. Uh, but as soon as I, uh, you know, I entered the pharma industry uh, after my master's, uh, I realized that my programming skills can be easily transferable uh, to align with the day-to-day -day responsibility of the statistical programmer, and it was a smooth transition. I started my uh, career at uh, GlaxoSmithKline in uh, 2005, uh, where I took my journey as a SaaS programmer primarily involved in the infectious disease, diseases therapeutic area. Um, I had a steep learning curve, uh, not only in programming, but uh, also in the clinical concepts. So uh, within a span of year, uh, I was also given responsibility to lead uh, some of the long-term phase three studies and integrated summaries uh, across uh, various projects and uh, therapeutic areas. So uh, it, it was very fascinating to work for such a large uh, pharma company to learn the end-to-end -end activities. Uh, then in 2009, um, I joined uh, a CRO called uh, Seniors, and I had a short stint and uh, primarily involved in uh, programming uh, and learned CDISC, uh, which was evolving at that time. Uh, so I also had an opportunity to uh, be a part of the, uh, the global uh, project bidding team and uh, travel across countries uh, for uh, bidding projects. Uh, then in 2011, I joined uh, Novanordisk, uh, where uh, the the biostatistics and programming team was uh, newly established uh, in uh, Bangalore, India. I started as a programmer, uh, but very quickly I, I got a breakthrough as a line manager. So there was uh, plenty of uh, opportunity for growth uh, in terms of uh, project management and line management. In 2011, I have uh, decided to move to abroad, uh, to Denmark. I relocated uh, to take up a specialist role uh, in Novo Nordisk. And I had a very impactful uh, career uh, within the programming area. Uh, I also took many job rotations. And later in 2021, I uh, joined uh, Lundpak as a senior manager. And uh, currently I'm heading the statistical programming team and uh, involved in a number of uh, clinical projects in the uh, central nervous system therapeutic area. Uh, and I'm thoroughly enjoying and the challenges and opportunities that has been provided to me. For the programmers, uh, adaptability, uh, it's uh, one of the important thing. Uh, I think during my uh, you know, uh, uh, programming days, uh, no matter how big uh, or small the project is, there is always uh, changes in the specification, for instance. So there's a numerous uh, you know, issues to do with uh, the data and changes uh, you know, uh, to, the, to, the, to the goals. So which means that you know, there's a lot of flexibilities needed. So, so, so that is one of the important thing I would say. Then uh, curiosity is also one of the important factor, right? Uh, to be a real good programmer, this op often you know fixes uh, problems uh, before they become a you know an, a, an issue. A statistical programmer don't possess this uh, trials, right? Will be seen a lack of knowledge in the underlying what they are doing it. So I think uh, the, the curiosity in learning new things is uh, is also one of the important factor. I would say. It's a, it's a usual challenge uh, like anyone, uh, um, and it is uh, certainly, I would say, uh, the knowledge and the skill gaps uh, when, when I landed in the clinic industry, uh, where I had uh, no prior experience on that. Uh, but how I overcome is that I uh, observe uh, so much information I can, uh, particularly about the industry and, and what are the stakeholders' uh, expectations. Uh, and also learn how uh, critical and and sensitive data that I'm dealing on a daily basis. So uh, to me, having an uh, in-depth understanding of the data is uh, is, is more Im important than uh, you know doing a superficial programming. Uh, and also constantly nurturing the skills uh, is also very important. So so yeah, these are the thing that I uh, managed to overcome.
I don't say it's a, it is a setback, but uh, but moving from the line management to a specialist uh, was uh, difficult uh, because uh, because I haven't invested uh, my time uh, for a period of, for a period and on the hands-on programming. Uh, but I but I realized uh, you know that it had given me an uh, opportunity to learn uh, the latest uh, development in CRISC, for example, and also learn the regulatory submission part and bring back those knowledge uh, to support my team. But the, the forward important thing, uh, you know, uh, to be a manager, for instance, it, it's a manager job uh, to think of a bigger, bigger picture. Uh, so this means, uh, you know, uh, setting priorities in line with the company goals, uh, reviewing uh, the, the SOPs, uh, you know, on an ongoing basis, uh, nurturing new talents, uh, you know, and as a strategic thinker, you, you know, uh, you will need to encourage uh, innovations and change in order to make your team uh, and an organization as a whole uh, to be more uh, productive. Um, and as a team manager, uh, you are the line of uh, the communication between uh, the staff and then the senior management. And you will need to establish the trust, uh, trusting relationship with employees so they feel uh, comfortable in sharing information uh, with you and vice versa. So the line of communication should always remain open uh, and, uh, so that uh, the the employees uh, to discuss any issues uh, or concerns that arises. Of course, this, the soft skill for, for instance, uh, decision making is, uh, is is one of the one of the important aspect. Of, um, I would say uh, because uh, because being in this uh, field uh, of uh, clinical domain, uh, many times that uh, you know. Uh, uh, the challenge will be put on the people to take uh, quick decisions, uh, you know, because we deal, uh, you know, uh, uh, we deal with the different data all the time. Uh, things can change all the time. So, so decision making is one of the important soft skill that uh, that I would say. To a greater extent, uh, companies uh, that I worked help me in growing. Uh, for instance, when I was working with uh, GlaxoSmithKline, uh, they uh, created a platform for me to learn uh, the clinical domain and uh, research, research and development uh, you know, on an end-to-end -end basis. Uh, so that created a lot of uh, confidence in me. Um, so when I worked with uh, Novo Nordisk, uh, they promoted training and development, and uh, that kind of advanced my career. And also, uh, I got an opportunity to rotate uh, job roles uh, within a different functional area. So that gave me uh, uh, you know, a different perspective uh, thinking. Um, and in my current organization, I, I, I have also got a tremendous support in making a succession plan to develop team, uh, teams to the next level. Uh, and they are very open to optimizing uh, the process tools and solutions and uh, work in more agile way. I would say that the best decision, I would say uh, I uh, moved to abroad, uh, for instance, because I was based in India before. I think that gave uh, you know, me uh, self-confidence uh, and, and being out of the comfort zone uh, and learning a different ways of working uh, and, and, and also thinking differently, right? And also learning a different uh, cultural aspects. So that was kind of a good exposure uh, that, I, that I've got uh, in my uh, career. Um, the worst career uh, decision, I would say, is um, shuffling between uh, the individual contributor role and, and line management. So that was, uh, there was a little hiccups uh, for me, uh, you know, uh, in terms of uh, that decision. Embracing a new and, uh, and, and more appropriate mindset uh, will help to uh, you know, avoid some of the pitfalls along the way uh, you know, when you transition from the individual contributor to the people manager. And uh, to be a more effective uh, leader, uh, I think uh, one must manage time and energy for people and not too busy in uh, taking time uh, for self. Uh, also, for example, like give and seek feedback you know, to elevate the entire team uh, rather than only give uh, feedback to fix problems. So these are the biggest learning that I learned, uh, you know, from the individual contributor to the uh, to the line management. I think uh, the leaders need, uh, you know, flexibility to adapt uh, their management style uh, to the to the 
cultural context, right? So I think uh, I think one of the things is, uh, you know, uh, uh, we need to learn to lead in different ways uh, in order to uh, motivate people. Um, uh, for instance, uh, you know, uh, I have to be aware uh, and, and, and work to understand how, uh, you know, my own way of uh, giving feedback uh, is viewed uh, by others. So, so that's a little bit of experimental uh, needed, uh, you know, uh, there. Technology holds the key because uh, I can see that uh, the pharmaceutical companies and the CR who are uh, reviewing a lot of new technologies uh, to see uh, where they can uh, implement uh, uh, new innovations uh, and deploy them. But many companies are also investing in digital health, for instance. And I think that will uh, pave the way uh, to improve uh, patient recruitment, uh, clinical trials, uh, and, and also to uh, get the data capturing uh, in, a, in a nice way. Uh, individual strength, uh, but there are uh, plenty of opportunity in the clinical field. Uh, so one, one, one who starts uh, in the field uh, should build a strong foundation uh, you know, by learning the, the clinical domain and, and, and regulatory aspects. And, uh, and stakeholder management is also one of the important thing uh, for them to move forward uh, because often programmers think that uh, programming is so important, but I think there are other aspects that they need to focus on as well. Uh, and the second thing is that they need to deal uh, with the lack of confidence uh, and do not put themselves uh, in the comfort zone. Um, and also understanding different ways uh, to add value to the company and its uh, stakeholders. The, the, the reason that you know why I moved to the you know why I want to choose the head of the statistical programming, I think uh, that is something uh, I can try to say that uh, because I was always motivated by uh, taking different tasks and uh, challenges that comes within the statistical programming and uh, inspired being uh, part of the clinical programs that helps being uh, bring treatment to the patients right. So being a manager, uh, you know, uh, it's important to to take uh, decisions on time and an and important uh, you know, part uh, playing in the process improvement. I think management become a passion of mine and I really enjoy watching uh, my team uh, grows and development on their own careers.